All right, today we'll be going over uh, the new release of WinPwn version 1.0. It's the official release. Um, there were a couple uh, upgrades made to this version. The first thing you want to do is uh, click on browse.ipsw. You want to select your uh, firmware. Uh, make sure it's a uh, 1.4. Um, if you're not on version 1.1.4, make sure you restore to that first before you do this. Now at this point, if you haven't pwned your iPod or iPhone yet, you can go ahead and select iPoner. And uh, after your uh, iPod or iPhone is pwned, at this point, you can um, go to the IPSW Builder. And this is where you would uh, create your uh, custom firmware. Um, one thing that was upgraded or added to this version is th actually the uh, ability to unselect applications. So if you, let's say you added something, you want to remove it, all you gotta do is right click on it and then left click, remove applications, and it'll remove that. Um, in previous versions you weren't able to do that. And just like in the previous version, you can uh, select to use custom pictures. Uh, you can, if you click on boot logo, you can select pictures that you have saved to your desktop already. Or if you click on uh, search online, they have uh, about 62 different images you can select from. Now there is a small bug in this version. Um, and what it is, is if you select uh, an image, let's try this one. You can see that it gives you this error telling you that it's uh, files too large is over a hundred KB um, but this is actually actually a boot logo that comes with the software so you think it would work um, there's other boot logos that I've tried that were actually only like about 62 KB or so and uh, it gave you the same error I'm not sure exactly at this point what's causing it I haven't really looked into it yet but that is a small little bug um, another new feature with this version is the ability to actually change your boot logo without having to uh, build a new custom firmware and adding those uh, boot logos. So if you, we'll go ahead and select some, and then we'll select the restore logo. So you want that one. Okay, at this point, if you were to click Update Logos, it would go ahead and put your iPod or iPhone into Restore Mode, but it would only update the uh, boot logo and the Restore logo. You wouldn't have to uh, restore your, your whole firmware. So that's a nice feature, not having to go through the whole process of building an, a new custom firmware and restoring to it just to change your boot logos. Um, so that's a nice feature that was added to this. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the new features are added. There are also a bunch of different other bugs that he had uh, fixed. Um, but that's it. If you uh, have any questions, you can hit me up on uh, my website, iPodTouch.net. I also have a bunch of boot logos on my site as well.